The National Basketball League of Canada is in its second year of operation. Uh, and here with us today representing the NBL is its co-founder and its chief operating officer, Ian McCart. More than a... <laughs> they already like you. I'm sorry? Oh. More than a quarter of a million people took in an NBL game last year. Um, unfortunately, none of those games happened in Ottawa. Um, a local entrepreneur, an international speaker, and a, a man who's made a career out of making things happen decided he wanted to change that. That man is Gus Bacalli. <laughs> Gus was determined to bring pro ball to Ottawa. Uh, he submitted a, a bid to get a franchise, but before it could be approved, there were several obstacles. Uh, to be honest, it was a tough go until he met someone, a trained engineer who's also a university professor of all people, uh, who knew a thing or two about bringing pro sports to Ottawa. You know Mr. Bruce Firestone is part of the team who originally brought us an NHL franchise. Thank you. Bruce lent a sympathetic ear and offered valuable advice. Um, one of the biggest obstacles we faced was getting a venue. Uh, so Bruce made a call to an old friend, a call that was key to moving forward. He introduced Gus to the current president of the Ottawa Senators, Mr. Cyril Weider. <laughs> Cyril was, as Gus will be quick to point out, a critical contact. He offered both advice and assistance on everything from marketing to promotions to getting a venue. In fact, the conversation with Cyril resulted in a contract being signed with the Scotiabank place. So with the venue and other key factors in place, things were pretty well set to go, but not quite. There was one missing element, and we thought it was key. We wanted the support of the city, so a call went out to the mayor's office. <laughs> mayor Jim Watson, the only dribbler among us. Um, <laughs> his response came in the form of about six words, and I'm paraphrasing here, but he said this will be a slam dunk. We were going to get him to slam dunk, but we didn't want this to come crashing down on his head, so we decided against it. I think I should try. <laughs> could be my Stanfield moment. I'm very excited to announce today that Ottawa will become the newest member of the National Basketball League of Canada. Je suis très heureux de vous annoncer aujourd'hui qu'Ottawa deviendra le tout dernier nouveau membre de la Ligue Nationale de Basketball du Canada. Pleasure to be part of this historic day today. A great day for basketball fans in Canada, a special day for the people, for the families, for the children, for the teenagers of the Ottawa Gatineau region. Today we celebrate the birth of hope for our young basketball children who, who don't, need, need, no, don't need to leave the country anymore or the city to play the sport they love professionally. Today, this city can now cheer for its very own professional basketball team. And, thank you. And of course, I'm honored to be a part of that. I'm not only honored, but I'm also very excited. Um, I'm a basketball fan myself. This is gonna be electrifying, in your face, slam dunking, alley-ooping, craziness basketball. The basketball that you will see is extremely of high level. Um, we, have, uh, we have coaches and players uh, from the NBA, from the D-League, from the EuroLeague, uh, from other international markets coming to Canada to raise the level of basketball to new heights in our country. And, and uh, I think people will be astounded by the level of basketball that they will see. And I'm very excited. But I need to say this. This is much more than just basketball. I promise to bring an outrageously unique family experience to Ottawa that is not only entertaining, but also very affordable. People will be thrilled at just how much value they're going to get out of these entertainment venues that we're going to produce. As a father myself, you know, I know how, how, how important it is to take my children out to a, to a sporting event that's fun, that promotes sportsmanship, that's competitive, and yet create these amazing moments of greatness with my children. And as I write in my book, you know, happiness is not a destination. Happiness is a way of life. Happiness is these moments of greatness that we create with our children. 
and this is what I pledge to do. I want to be able to create these moments of greatness. But I will also work hard to ensure that the people of Ottawa Gatineau can take advantage of that and still stay within their budgets. I envision a mother, a father, a little boy, a little girl getting together, spending quality time with each other, watching a professional level basketball game, fun and entertaining, and yet spending less than $100 for a family of four. That is my vision for Ottawa. Again, this is much more than basketball. We have so many plans for various community development events, starting from basketball clinics and youth development programs that we want to instill in our city. It's not just about basketball. It's much more than that. It's about creating an atmosphere of success, creating an atmosphere of competitiveness and sportsmanship among enti our entire society. And accordingly, I encourage local businesses to connect with us and get involved, because what we want to do is some amazing things exciting things in the community and this way companies and businesses can link themselves or link their brands to something exciting and something new in our community. See this is a marketplace I respect. If we are good to the market, the market's going to be good to us and history has shown if we are bad to the market, the market's going to be bad to us. But I know at Bytown Sports, when we take care of our fans, the fans will take care of us and all my staff at the company it, we get, are going to do everything they can geared towards creating an unbelievable fan experience. Not a good fan experience, not a great fan experience, but an unbelievable fan experience. It's much more than that. I'm looking for Sonny Gill. Where is Sonny Gill? Sonny Gill, right there. Okay, Sonny is my investor, um, uh, my partner, my friend. Uh, Sonny invested in this operation before we even had a venue signed, before we even had a league document signed. So thank you for believing in me, Sonny, and we're going to make this happen. Okay. And, and finally, uh, my two VPs, uh, Dennis Sebra, Vice President of Marketing, Paula Deek. Where's Paula? Paula, right here, my Vice President of Business Operations, my soon-to-be, hopefully, co-owners in my company. Um, uh, thank you for believing in me, and I hope you guys have your seatbelts fastened because this is going to be a heck of a ride. Okay, thank you both. <laughs> On a final note. I'm absolutely thrilled to be able to share my passion in the city that I grew up in. As I always preach to my clients all over the world, if you do something you love, success will follow. When you do something with passion from the heart, success will follow, period. I love basketball. I love Ottawa. I love developing new businesses and new markets. And I'm so passionate about this venture. I look forward to having a ball, literally. Thank you very much. Thank you. We met Mr. Takali at the inaugural combine and draft, and his passion on his face was evident from the beginning. Uh, and we've worked, like he said, about a year and a half to make this happen. And you know, you're getting a very, very committed owner, someone who's dedicated to basketball, who's dedicated to Ottawa, and who's dedicated to excellence. And uh, when we reviewed his application as the board of directors, you know, that really came through. And uh, I'm happy to say that uh, the Ottawa franchise was unanimous, unanimously approved by the NBL Board of Directors to have a franchise for the 2013 Right, tickets. Um, something we really want to bring up to everybody. BasketballOttawa.com. Go to BasketballOttawa.com. You get all the details about the team, what we're doing. Um, we are currently uh, put taking sorry, ticket holds. Right, we're not reserving specific seats, but we're taking holds because there's a big demand right now for courtside tickets and for 100 level tickets. So please go to the website. I want to thank everybody that came out today, and I want to make a quick introduction of two very special people that I didn't thank. Can I ask Ryan and Jenna to come up here? Ryan, this is my son Ryan, who uh, is going to be the starting point guard soon. This is Jenna, who is going to be my head cheerleader. 